Uh, welcome. Uh, like I told you, we started a series of KCPG prediction series. Uh, we did the first one. This is the series number two, where we are going to deal with the higher, higher purchase commission and loss and profit, loss and profits. So those are the things we are going to talk about. Higher purchase commission, loss and profits. We are talking about money in general. So first, I want to remind you that higher purchase it is the amount of if this is the money that somebody uh, is using uses to buy something uh, slowly. If you do, if come on attack a kununua kumfano ready ambayo na cost ten thousand, na una yo ten thousand, una kubariana na yura ambayo na uza kwamba itaripa deposit ya two thousand, hizo sanya si mebaki eight hundred eight thousand nitalipa kwa miezi kumi na nitakuwa nalipa kwa mfano 800 800 kila mwezi. Kwa hivyo hiyo ndio inaitwa higher purchase. Then the other price unafaa kujua inaitwa the cost price. Cost price ni ile unaenda kununua hiyo radio ama TV. Kama inauswa 10,000 unalipa cash 10,000 unaenda na radio yako. Hiyo inaitwa cost price. Sometimes we call it cash price. So this is the money you just pay and go with the item. Lakini higher purchase, hiyo ni hile una lipa pole pole. I want you to know that higher purchase is always more than 100%. So, hile pesa una lipa pole pole, kama ulifa ulipe 10,000 cash, ukilipa na higher purchase itakuwa 15,000 ama 12,000, lazima ikuwe more than 10,000. Be aware of that. Kwa hivyo, the cost price is always 100%. Cash price, cash or a cost price is always 100%. But higher purchase price is always more than 100%. It is always more than 100%. Okay, when I have information, then these things become very easy. So let us look at this example. A higher purchase price of a bed includes a deposit of, oh sorry, before we even go to the example, I'm forgetting something here. How do you calculate a higher purchase of something? You use higher purchase equal to the deposit plus monthly installments. So the deposit is the amount of money that you pay first, and then the rest you pay slowly per month. So the deposit, kama una pesa enough ya kununua kitu furani, kama ni radio ama TV, kuna hile pesa utapeana ya kwanza, inaitua the deposit. Ingeyo, so higher purchase ni equal to a deposit, plus monthly installments. Monthly installments in Europe are equal to mwezi pole pole. So let us look at this example. Example, sorry. A higher purchase, Mr. Ndia. The higher purchase price of a bed includes a deposit of Kenya shillings, 2,500, and they are there after 10 monthly installments each of Kenya shillings 750. The cost price is 200, sorry, is 2,000 less than the higher purchase price. By what percentage is the higher purchase price more than the cost price? So I think the question is very clear. So let us look at how to go about this question. So we, we know that higher purchase, in short we write higher purchase, equal to deposit plus monthly installments. So we have been given the deposit is 2,500. So the deposit is 2,500 plus monthly installments. We had 10 months, so the month is 10 times each month we pay 750, so times 750. So this one will give us 2500 plus 7500. So the total here equal to 10,000 Kenya shillings. So it means that the higher purchase price of this bed is 10,000 shillings. Lakini tumeambiwa hapa that the cost price 
is 2000 Kenya shillings less. Kwa hivyo mtu akilipa cash pita kununua na haya purchase. Haya purchase atalipa shilingi ngapi? 2000 less the haya purchase. Kwa hivyo cost price equal to 10000 10000 minus 2000 because the cost price is going to be 2000 less so the cost price is equal to 8000 shilling 8000 kwa hivyo hii ndio cost price but i have told you that higher purchase is always a hand, more than 100 and the cost price is always 100% that information is very important cost price ila cash ni 100% Haya purchase lazima ikuwe more than 100 purchases. Kwa hivyo uh, 100%. Tuko sure that the cost price ni 8000 tuyapata. Inamaanisha this Kenya shillings inakuwa represented by 100%. Kwa hivyo tutauliza u, eh, hiyo pesa ya haya purchase itakuwa ngapi? So we will ask 8000 the cost price is equal to a uh, 100% percent. 8000 Kenya shillings ambayo ni cost price ni 100% what about 10000 10000 Kenya shillings itatupea which percentage so ni 10000 times 100 divided by 8000 this one will give us 125% kwa hivyo the higher purchase is 125%. But I have told you that higher purchase is more than 100%. You can see by yourself that higher purchase is always more than 100%. But the question asks by what percentage is the higher purchase price more than the cost price? So it is 125 minus 100. So our final answer is 125 minus 100 and this one gives us 25%. 25%. So, higher purchase never misses in any exam of KCSE exam. Therefore, you are sure of free marks. Practice makes perfect. Let us look at another example. The higher purchase of a TV is 20% more than the cash price. David bought it on higher purchase by paying a deposit of shilling 6000 and equal monthly installments of shilling 8800 each month for 18 months what was the cash price what was the cash price so for us to get the cash the cash price first We need to calculate the higher purchase because we have everything that we need to calculate the higher purchase. We have the deposit, we have each month the monthly installment whereby it is 18 months times 800. So we study there. So higher purchase is equal to the deposit. It is important you write the the the, 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 the formula deposit plus monthly installments. The deposit is 6000 plus one month is 800 and there were 18 uh, 18 months there were 18 months so 80 this time this one will give you 14400 so you just put uh, 1800 times 8 this one is 64 this one is 8 8 plus 6 it is 14 that's how you get 14 and then plus 6000 so when you add 6000 here it gives you 040 0. so the higher purchase price higher purchase is equal to 2400 that is the higher purchase but we are told that the, the higher purchase is one is 20% more than the cash price remember the cash price is always 100% and if the higher purchase is 20 more it means that the higher purchase is 120 100 plus 20 so this money 120% which is higher purchase is equal to 2400 we want to know 
cash price is always 100%. So we want to know what will be the 100%. So 100% will be what amount? 120% is equal to 2400. 100 will be what? So it is 100 times 2400 divided by 12. Divided by 120. So 12 here, 6, that is 2 here, 6, 2 here, 10, 2. Uh, this 3 goes here, 3 here twice, 3 here, 3, that is 9, the main one, that is 4, right? So 3 goes, uh, 2 goes here once, here, 5, that is 50. Now we have 50 times 340, that is now 340 times 50, we put 5 there, 0, 0, this time this is uh, 20, carry 2, this time this is 15, 15 uh, plus 2, that is 17. So it means that the cash price is equal to Kenya shillings, 17,000. So that is how easy and simple this math is. The cash price of a TV is shilling 17,000. Jane bought it on a higher purchase by paying a deposit of equal, uh, by paying a deposit and equal monthly installments of shilling 800 each for 18 months. If the higher purchase is 20% more than the cash price, Calculated the deposit that Jane paid. So we want now to calculate the deposit. That is very easy. We know that the higher purchase is equal to monthly. Before even we write this formula, we need to calculate the, the higher purchase first. We know that the cash price is equal to 100%. You should know that. So 100% is equal to 17,000. Higher purchase is 1% is 20 percent more it means that 120 that is 20 plus 100 120 percent will be what so that now we have the higher purchase price so that's 120 times 17 thousand divided by 100 and this one and this this goes so it is 17 0 uh, 0 times 12 that is how you do it this is 4 uh, 14, uh, 3, this is 7, this is 1, so this is 4, 0, 2, and then add the 2, 0. So higher purchase price is equal to 2,400 shillings, 20,400 Kenya shillings. That is now the higher purchase. But we know that the higher purchase is equal to deposit plus monthly in installment we have the higher deposit we have the higher purchase price which is 20400 we have that money there which is equal to the deposit plus monthly installment which is 800 times 18 months this one is equal to deposit plus e times c is 14400 so we have 2400 you know, you should like terms together now. This one will come on this side. Once it reaches there, it crosses the equal sign. It becomes negative because it is positive here. So that one will be 2400 minus 14400, which is equal to deposit. Deposit. So 20,400 minus 14400, we will have Kenya shillings, 6,000 which is equal to the deposit. So the deposit is equal to Kenya shillings 6,000. In our next lesson, we will look at the commission, how to calculate the percentage profit and the percentage loss. For now, I think you have seen how to calculate the higher purchase, a question which never misses in an exam, KCPE. Therefore, if you have any question, you can comment and ask in the 
इवन द कॉन्टैक्ट्स आए थे थैंक यू